a rabbi with regard to Joseph's marriage to Asena, who was the, the daughter of the high priest of On. Okay, Pharaoh gave Joseph a wife, you know. And uh, so I've been preaching, well, at least Manasseh and Ephraim, at least, you know, they, have a, they had a black mother, so they're probably black Israelites from that point of view. But this rabbi said, well, no, he thinks that, that somehow that Asana must have been white, you know. Now, I heard that years ago. It just went in there and it stayed in my head, and I, didn't, I never did anything with it. But now, with all of this teaching going on, I'm smiling, you know. No, I don't think Asana was wife, white. I think Joseph was black, you know. And, uh, and these preachers, they're making a very good point. If, Joseph, if, if Jacob was white, okay, and, and, and the Egyptians are basically, at the very least, dark brown skin, if not black, okay, when Joseph went to Egypt, he would have been a white man in the middle. He, when, he, when he rose to authority in Egypt, he would have been a white man in authority in a black nation. And when Jacob's, when Jacob's uh, sons went looking for food in the, in the time of the famine, Joseph would have stood out like a sore thumb. If Joseph was white and the Egyptians were at the very least dark-skinned brown, if not black, okay, when, when, when Jacob's sons came to buy food, they would have recognized immediately a white man in the midst of the black man. Maybe it's our brother, but they, they didn't think that there was anything strange about him at all. So that is a very strong witness that Jacob himself was black, that Joseph was black, that he married a black woman, and that, and that Israel was black. And the white Jews that we see today are European converts, and it seems to be the truth. But I now see a couple of black preachers that I heard carrying it too far, see, and saying, well, now when Messiah comes, he's going to be black. So we're looking for a black Messiah. But brethren, that's an error. And this is the point that I really want this preached publicly. That is an error to say that we're looking for a black Messiah. Now, I didn't hear Pastor Omar say this. There was another preacher that I heard. First of all, First of all, even if Jesus, let's say Jesus was black, okay, Jesus was black. I have no problem with that. Jesus was black, dark skin brown, dark brown or black, okay. But it's not Jesus of Nazareth coming back. A glorified man is coming back. And he's coming back inside of a form that is born today. So he could come back. First of all, he's not one man that's going to be sitting on the throne. We are the throne. The, 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 the human people that he is marrying are his throne, and he's a spiritual man that will be sitting on the hearts of many people, of all races, all colors, black, red, green, orange, and yellow, all of us, okay? That's a joke, in case you didn't get it. Okay, Jesus no longer has a color. He, never, he doesn't have a colored skin anymore. He's a spiritual man, and, he's, and so obviously these black preachers don't have that revelation. They think he's coming back as a physical man. So they're telling their parishioners, well, now you know if, a, if someone comes and says he's Messiah and he's white, that he's the false Messiah. So now we're getting into trouble, you see. Now, what, what, what if the bodies that Jesus comes back in initially are white? <laughs> and the only thought that, that was invading my mind that I was saying, oh, God, please no, was this. Are they going to mess it up again? All of these, uh, certainly at least American black people, American blacks who are desperately trying to find an identity because the, the descendants of, of slaves in America, uh, many of them, the large majority of them, are all messed up in their emotions because of what they, because they were spiritually devastated when they were treated in an unhuman way and, and, and however it affected them up to this generation. American black people, especially black men, have serious emotional and spiritual problems. They're, they'll only be healed in Christ Jesus. Mm. You go to Holland, there's five churches on every street in Holland. Mm. There's five churches in every street in Holland with the drug addicts, you know, walking dazed up and down the street in front of the churches. Okay. There's no help for them and the Holy Ghost. Well, some of them have risen up, but the Harlem is just loaded 
with devastated black, especially black men, and the churches have nothing for them. So they'll only be helped in Christ Jesus, who is the new man, who's going to rebuild them from the inside out as a new man. So, so this, I want to, the Lord just wanted this preach publicly, beware, okay? Beware that you don't mess up again. That as a people, you rejected Jesus the first time that he came because he wasn't, I'm told that, uh, that they were waiting for a military commander and Jesus came as a man of peace, not as a military commander. I, I, the Lord didn't tell me that personally, so I usually go with the standard doctrine unless the Lord tells me otherwise. So you rejected him the first time. Be careful that you don't reject him the second time, because he just may come the first time in white forms, but eventually he'll be appearing in people from all nations. Jesus will be appearing in people from all nations of all different colors, skins, both sexes, male and female, black, red, green, yellow, and white skin, because he is the savior of the, of the world. He's the savior of the world. Elijah is the savior of Israel. He is the savior of the world. So be very careful. You know? And the, the pastor that I heard say that, I thought that his, he wasn't as educated as Omar was, as Omar is, but I thought that his spirit was right, and he just, he just wasn't as knowledgeable as Omar. And then he was saying, Jesus is going to be black. You know? But I didn't hear Omar say that. So be careful, I'm speaking, I'm speaking that into the atmosphere, wherever this uh, message might go. I don't know if we'll make a short clip out of it or not, I don't know, I'll, I'll really have to listen to it. But I'm speaking this into the atmosphere, be very careful, black people, especially American black people, especially American black males, be very careful that you don't let this truth, which is, should be very exciting for you to find out that Israel was black, don't take it to an extreme that's going to wind up going full circle and hurting you.